What's going on, Bulls fans? Welcome to another episode of Chicago Bulls Central, your number one spot for everything Chicago Bulls related. And on today's episode, we'll be talking about the Bulls win over the Toronto Raptors, how they can take the things that they learned in this game and apply them to the game against the Milwaukee Bucks tonight. We'll also be talking about the Bulls fans' reaction to Patrick Williams coming back, Alice Caruso being in the starting lineup, all that and some more right after this. You are now tuned in to Chicago Bulls Central. All right, Bulls fans. So I'm back. And the thing, it feels so much better after a win, right? Like we know, and for if, for those that were in the live stream last night, it was a great feeling. But just with Bulls Nation, especially if you're someone who's on social media a lot, it's so much different coming after a win. And the Bulls did what needed to be done last night. A, a, a solid first half, right, in which they did some things that they then thus learned on, built upon, and played a little bit better. It was good to see a key defensive um, uh, stretch from the Chicago Bulls. Uh, the fact that the Bulls were able to kick in the defensive intensity when they needed to down the stretch as well. The Bulls maintained a lead. They didn't give up a lead in the second half. All those things that happened was just, it was good and it was long overdue to see from the Chicago Bulls team. Now, one thing that, or two things that you're going to hear a lot about in this game, you're going to hear a lot about Patrick Williams, you're going to hear a lot about Alex Caruso starting what that brings, but I want to I want to start off with the old faithfuls. First of all, Zach Levine, we got a quote from Zach Levine after this game just saying he's not worried about the knee, he just wants to win. That's a great quote from Zach Levine, but we're seeing it on the court in the way that he plays. He did not have a great first half last night, but you would almost completely forget about it because the way he came in and played and that stretch he had in the third quarter to really seal in that game, Zach Levine led by example last night and really just doing the things that needed to be done. It doesn't mean that we didn't see some, some laps in passing and things from Zach Levine that we still want to see tighten up, but overall, what Zach was able to do with this leadership of taking on that scoring load and saying, no, we're winning this game tonight. DeMar DeRozan also with 26 points, just like Zach Levine last night, doing the things that need to be done. You're seeing good DeMar. DeMar not settled for just pump fakes and trying to get to the foul line, hitting key shots. Uh, Nikola Vucevic with a big double-double for the Chicago Bulls and one block as well from him. And anyone who's still on this train of Nik less, Nikola Vucevic had some defensive lapses last night, especially in that first half. But we got to get off just blaming everything on Vooch. Vooch played really good for us last night. Dick came in with key things that we needed to see done. Javante Green as well. Alex Caruso start. Let's get into it. I said we're going to talk about Alex Caruso and Patrick Williams. Let's go ahead and talk about it. What Alex Caruso, the steady hand, the calmness, the leadership, the being a veteran, the being somebody with championship level experience, you saw all those things come in and really help the Chicago Bulls. That is not to say Ayo Desumu uh, isn't still great and his potential is any lesson, but, but Ayo was really playing a position that most second round rookie point guards would not be be playing in and we're seeing especially down the stretch what Alice Caruso can do and that the fact that he's back in that starting lineup and Billy Donovan has said that it's something that he wants to see happen for a long time especially while Lonzo was out it was good to see and then even Io let's talk a little bit about Io too before we get into Patrick Williams Io having a really good contribution off the bench shooting confidently not hesitating all those things listen this Bulls team work back in and maybe one of the keys to the Bulls bench is the chemistry between Ayo Desumu and Kobe White which we'll continue to monitor and see in this game now I'll, I'll get a little bit more in depth on it maybe on tomorrow's pre-recorded video but nonetheless the return of Patrick Williams you're going to hear so much about this um it was good to see Patrick Williams come back and be aggressive Patrick Williams not hesitated to take shots now he didn't shoot it at the best clip but the fact that Patrick Williams did not hesitate, he came in, he shot confidently, um, he played really good defense, especially point of attack defense, some of the th that spin layup that he had, it was all good to see. And it was good to see the Bulls fan base embrace it and really react in a way that just shows how appreciative they are of Patrick Williams, how he continues to play, how his body continues to develop. It's all going to be uh, on the watch. I'm sorry, how his body responds now playing in the NBA. He's going to have a big test up tonight. We're going to see some Patrick Williams on Giannis Antetokounmpo tonight, and I can't wait to see it for one. Uh, it's a huge test for him, especially in the second game back. But let me ask you guys this question to kind of leave this one on. What do you... Um, when do you expect Patrick Williams to be inserted back into the starting lineup? I had already said, for, for me, I don't think they do it until next week, that game against New York. I think they're going to finish out this week, bringing him off the bench, just allowing him some, some time to recover. But if he keeps playing like this, showing showing that aggressive, his body doesn't negatively react to, to being back in, in competitive basketball, we're going to see Patrick Williams in that starting lineup very, very soon. But let me know what you guys think down below. Let me think what you think Patrick Williams is going to do in this game tonight against the Milwaukee Bucks. Now let's talk about that game. The things that the Bulls did well in the game against the Toronto Raptors are the exact same things they need to do tonight well against the Milwaukee Bucks. Play good defense, solid defense throughout. Be able to respond to, to, to the Bucks' runs because they're going to go on runs. We know that the Bucks are going to be missing uh, middle tenants in, in 
Chris Mid Middleton. Uh, shout out to Ricky Fontaine for the new the new uh, nickname if he's going to be playing mid tonight. But nonetheless, um, uh, he's, he's going to be out the game. So, you know, without without him being there, what does that do um, for the Chicago Bulls? Will, will remain to be seen. But the Bulls need to play very well on both sides of the ball. They need to have execution. They don't need to let up defensively. I trust their offense can do enough. It's just how much is that, does that defense hold that offense up without without letting up some big uh, some big runs there um, and how the, how they can respond to that. Uh, Vooch is going to be important in this game as well. I know some Bulls fans don't like hearing that, but he will be a very important part of wh- why and how this Bulls team does against the Milwaukee Bucks tonight. And so, you know, monitoring all that, looking at what this team did last night, the fact that they got a win that was much needed by the fan base, much needed by the players, it just feels so good for the Bulls to win after going 3-0 and to start this week off that is going to be a pretty difficult week, right? To start it off with a win, we'll see what happened against the Milwaukee Bucks. The Bulls are in a key stretch, right? And one thing that we're going to be doing uh, more frequently here now is doing standings watch. I know a lot of uh, Bulls fans and, and supporters of this show have been asking, when am I going to do more coverage around the standings? I've always said with about 10 games left, we'll start watching a little bit closer. We're a little bit ahead of that, but cause some of the key games tonight that that are on the docket that could have uh, affect his playoff seating overall in the East is, of course, the Bulls versus Milwaukee. We already know what that's going to do. Also, the Knicks versus Hawks game tonight. So be able to look at, look at that. Uh, the Bulls do have a chance to knock the Bucks down to the fourth seat. Now, what is it? Some some Bulls fans may say they don't want to see that because the four or five matchup with the Bucks and Bulls. Whoa, whoa, Nelly. But with that being said, it'll be nice to see the Bulls possibly get a win um, tonight, especially against the Bucks, not having Chris Middleton. Let me know what you guys think. What are some of your expectations for the game tonight? What do you think the stat line is going to be? And what percentage are you putting on the Bulls to be able to get their second win in a row? Beat a, a top 10 finally so some of these analysts and, and Bulls fans and, and everybody can shut up about this beating top team uh, top teams thing. I want to see the Bulls get a win tonight, as we should always want to see the Bulls get a win. But I want to see them play, execute, do all the things well that are going to help them win this game. And I think the Bulls can do it. Will they do it, though? That is what remains to be seen if the Bulls do enough to win this game against a tough Milwaukee Bucks team. But that is really it for me for today, guys. You're going to get three more videos from me today. We have a pregame, halftime hangout, and a postgame live streams all coming to you guys tonight for tonight's game against the Milwaukee Bucks. So make sure you're tuned in. Hit that notification button. Make sure you're subscribed so you can get notified of when we go live because sometimes I just go live randomly, like when we had the helpline. So with all that being said, make sure you you subscribe. I want to hear your expectations. How do you think Caruso did? in his first start in quite a while as well. Io's roll off the bench. Do we see Io and Kobe also build that chemistry back up? All those questions will be answered in a way, shape, shim, shape, form, or fashion tonight. We'll get to see that from our Chicago Bulls. Really excited for that. I love you guys, man. Make sure you're following the podcast at Bulls Central Pod. You can send us any feedback, questions, comments, concerns, Bulls Central, uh, Chicago Bulls Central at gmail.com. Lastly, if you want to leave us a voicemail, you can do so at 773-270-2799. See red, don't be red. Go Bulls. See you guys tonight for the live streams. Love you guys. Peace, y'all. This has been a presentation of The Break Media. Break, break, media. media.